Welcome back everybody. Today we'll be talking about bit drivers. It's one of my favorite preferred bit drivers in the multiverse. Now, right off the bat, this is not SOG bits. These are uh, bits from a Heart brand Walmart uh, double-sided bit driver set up for like 12 bucks or something that I got and I just put the bits in this little SOG piece here for storage. We have the Leatherman bits, and we have the Victorinox bit driver. We have SOG power pipe, Victorinox Deluxe Tinker, and Leatherman Style CS, and Leatherman Ratchet. Pretty much everything here works with everything if you use the Ratchet. The Ratchet will work on all three of these tools. For those of you that haven't seen previous video, um, I put the Leatherman Ratchet in the plier slot of the Deluxe Tinker, and I get a nice little ratchet gun. And that's good for holding any one of these bits over here. Just to show what all the Leatherman can hold. That bit goes right in, snugs up quite well. Of course, you know the Leatherman bit driver will hold Leatherman bits, but just for posterity, we'll put that in there. That holds. And Victorinox bit kit is basically just your normal uh, quarter inch bits that you can buy anywhere. Goes in and works. So if you've got something that can take this, this can take pretty much any other bit you come across. So, uh, Style CS, I bought a mod for it that turns it into a little bit driver. Fun little piece there. Uh, that can hold the Leatherman bits, or the bit driver, and then the other bits. I got the SOG power pint with its nice little quarter inch holder. Now that will hold the quarter inch bits, but not double sided bits. Double sided bits won't go down into the hole. So that's when I pair the power pint up with the ratchet, and now I got all these other nice little bits. If you don't want to carry a multi-tool and you just want to carry a bit driver, I highly recommend buying the Victorinox bit set. Now there is a little extension kind of like that that doesn't ratchet for this. I'm not going to show that in this video. Um, but it's got bit driver at the slot bottom there. We've got bit driver here. Non-reversible. If you want to reverse the way you're driving it, you just flip the wrench around and go again. And that holds, this holds pretty much all the bits. It'll kind of hold these, and it, it'll, the bit won't go through the tool, if that's what you're worried about. Like, that'll work. It, it's made to hold quarter-inch bits quite well, because most quarter-inch bits have this little notch in the middle of the frame right there. And this little split ring inside the tool grabs onto that notch. It will hold the Leatherman bits quite well. Better, better with the Leatherman bits on the screwdriver portion there. Um, but yeah, like all these tools are just good, handy little drivers that you can carry with you. Like, I, I mean, the, these are all phenomenal. I've used all of these setups multiple different ways amongst my, my carries. And I love each and every one of them. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um... I highly suggest if you don't have one of these already, buy the Leatherman bit kit. It's this two panel piece with like 40 some bits. This thing is freaking awesome. Uh, very pocketable and you can swap out with whatever bits you want in whatever order you want. If you want to just carry one sleeve like I do, I carry this sleeve here which has Robinson, Phillips flat, a couple hex heads and Torxes. I use Torxes a lot. And this is very handy if I'm wanting to just slim down and carry one panel. Before I bought some of these tools, I had this and the power pint and an ex a normal extension that you can buy at Lowe's. And this was a phenomenal carry. I had a full range of bits, got several Torxes, a Robinson set, Flats and Phillips. I threw, there's a one in here that's like a Klein. I think this is the Klein double-sided bit and then the rest of it is from the Walmart screwdriver. Very good quality surprisingly. 
But then I got a Victorinox Swiss Tool X and it came with this guy here and it's just been night and day. Like this thing has been awesome. You can buy these just up as it is on the Victorinox website, eBay, yada yada. I mean, this thing is solid. It'll take a lot to break this. It feels so refined, so good. The case clicks it you know, all into place. <clears throat> you don't get all these bits. You get six bits and four empty slots and you add whatever bits you want to throw in there. I've ordered a bit that transfers quarter inch down to uh, four millimeter, which is on its way. And I'll, I'll be adding that to this empty slot here. That'll be a nice addition. But I like throwing some people off when I whip out this guy here and do that. People don't expect a Swiss Army knife to be able to do screwdriving capabilities like this with interchangeable bits. This is an unknown feature in the multiverse. I'm, I'm still in the term multiverse from max level EDC. Go check him out. Great dude. Awesome content. But I like what, what he calls the world of multi-tools. The multiverse. So I'm kind of trying to spread that term around for more people to know. But, yeah, I mean, any one of these. Like, take, remove these two. If you have uh, that right there, you can take Leatherman bits. You can take these guys. You can take normal quarter-inch bits that you can buy everywhere. If you got this set up, again, same thing. If you got this set up, same thing. You can cut all that out and go this and all of that. This is a bit of a conjumbled video, I know, but I just wanted to showcase some screwdriver setups that I've used and enjoyed over the times that I've had these. Also, this is a... It'll work together with this and get a long, narrow ratchet. That's fun to have. Gives you that reach that you want. The, these two tools, I think the Leatherman Ratchet was an awesome, awesome idea that Leatherman finally came out with. And then I had heard about the Swiss Tool Ratchets and wasn't quite sure how good those were. And after I got one, it's like night and day. Uh, th that's better than a lot of Craftsman wrenches. Sog Power Pint, awesome little multi-tool for all the tools that it has. Go check out one of my other videos where I showcase this little guy. Uh, you may have the style PS. I have the style CS, which is scissors. PS is the plier version. But you can buy it like a $13 mod and add it in. And just amplifies the usability of this tool a thousandfold. This thing is awesome after the mod. And then my favorite Swiss Army knife of the Swiss Army, Swiss Army pocket knives is the Deluxe Tinker. I think that's a hidden gem of the Victorinox lineup. But all of these are awesome, awesome bit carry setups. If you're the type of person that likes to use bits, little, you know, double-sided bits or whatever for whatever jobs you're doing, maintenance, unscrewing, screwing, yada, 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 any one of these three tools with any one of these two setups you're going to have a complete carry. This is a little long, but I mean, you could throw this on a keychain on your belt and just have that and then go to your toolbox for your bits or whatever. This thing is high quality, precision, phenomenal. You will not regret buying one of these. It's awesome. But yeah, thank you for showing up. Thank you for listening to me ramble. And I may try to redo this video better in the future but I, I had some quick thoughts and I just needed to get it out there and I hope you all got something out of this it, but if nothing else any one of these three setups with this can use any bits it's all usable interchangeable surprisingly so and not too crazy like any one of these setups is going to cost you under probably $80 if I, if I ch last checked my prices correctly under a, un, definitely under a hundred if you bought any one of these setups with the bits you're you've got a budget carry for screw driving thank you all for listening to me ramble hope to see you next time and until then farewell